Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a video I've been, well, working on doing for honestly way too long. But there it is. 50 war crates are stacked up. And honestly, now that the buff is here, we should expect some solid items out of this. As you guys know, I've done a lot of different crate openings in New World. I've done a bunch of OPR crates, um, but I've never really done a big war opening video. And this honestly took forever, 50 wars. Um, maximum, there's like one, maybe two a day. So yeah, this took honestly forever to make. So I'm super excited to start opening. All I'm asking for is honestly a simple like to help me motivate perhaps stack even more crates in the future but anyways not gonna keep this any longer let's just start opening and let's hope for some absolutely lovely pieces so let's begin with the uh, chest number one and we're gonna go through this they there should be some really nice pieces here and the first one war a rapier of the ranger already kind of whatever actually um but yeah i'm not quite sure i'm just gonna hover over every purple and we will discuss together whether they're good or not so um yeah, we're basically looking for some best in slot pieces, really. So, for example, uh, none of the... Like, let's say this heavy glove. Let's say refreshing with something. Like, we're looking for just strength or strength con or just dex or dex con. Like, basically combinations of two useful perks. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to open this kind of fast. Ice gauntlet with pretty bad perks. Um, int con with bad... Okay. Let's see. So, con focus with fortification empowering rupture. That could maybe be useful. Um, also I wonder, no, none of these are, none of these are named items. I'm also gonna pay attention to the named items. Um, because they can probably be boosted up to, uh, 600 gear score to get another perk. But so far these are all War Master, same as, um, same as the OPR chests basically, so nothing crazy here. For example, this could be nice if it was just strength. Uh, but yeah, so far not amused yet. Uh, but we'll just go through these and hopefully find some really nice pieces. So far I see a lot of... Okay, hatchet with druinous and refreshing move. I mean, this could be used, for example. Kind of niche, but... Um, nothing too good so far. Thwarting strike, refreshing move, rapier. That seems pretty interesting, but do you actually have greed when you use rapier? Probably not. Um, freedom... Uh, but nothing really else that's good there. Sure footing and thwarting counter. You move 20% faster while blocking. Not very useful. Um, definitely looking for some uh, really good uh, great excess as well that we can potentially get. Oh, and the blunderbuss expertise bumps. Um, obviously, that is also a thing. If you're wondering why my blunderbuss expertise is so low, it's because I've been playing on my second alt account on Midgard right now. So I have two accounts I'm playing on at the moment. Strength con resilient healing tomb. A bit unlucky. Could potentially be... Nah, no way. You can't really use that. Could be... I, I was thinking about like Great X in Tomb. Like Great X Ice, but... Yeah, not really that great. Focus with Evade, Refreshing Evasion. Nope, nothing too good so far. So I thought these were like buffed better. Okay, there we go. Refreshing move, Vicious Void Gauntlet. That is not bad with Int Focus Spec. Um, nothing too crazy though, but I mean, it, it's okay, I guess. Strength refreshing move thwarting strikes. Wait, Warhammer with refreshing move and thwarting strikes. That is a very good Warhammer. For example, if you are a 300 200 heavy build, that is that could go on the market for a lot of money. I'm just gonna go ahead and log this very quickly because that is actually a solid Warhammer. Obviously, I think what I have here with my build, this would be better, but if I were to run. On a heavy, this is uh, not bad. The refreshing move is what makes it not bad. Obviously, the Tempest uh, Expedition is a thing where you can get a really good Warhammer. But I don't think it has refreshing move. And that can pretty much get, give you your cooldowns back so much faster. Which is quite valuable on a Warhammer. So, that's the first piece that I could comfortably say it's actually a nice piece. Um, moving, I wish I got that in a legendary form. That could be crazy. Um, Freedom Crippling Blast Shot. Strength Dex. A bit unfortunate there. Still 33 to go. I'm pretty slow with opening this right now. Um, refreshing word, penetrating wrecking balls, but wrong perks. Refreshing pounding meteor shower strength. Unlucky. Fourth encounter. No, that's not really it. Intelligence with vicious. Nope. Refreshing evasion, putrefying scream. I hope I get at least one legendary. Would that be too much to ask? I'm not sure. Uh, that's a pretty bad warhammer. Dex int. 
Nope. Uh, Dex. Nope. Ooh, what the fuck was that for? Okay, we got like 600 green shield. Like, what? Okay, so strength, refreshing torrent, and plagued creed. No, that's bad. Uh, strength, int, crippling, blast, shot, shirking, fortification. Okay. This, for example, is another nice piece for a blunderbuss. It is heavy, so you can run it on a heavy and a medium. It has strength and intelligent. And uh, yeah, we're gonna log that one straight away. That can definitely be a piece that you can use with blunderbuss. Okay, we still have 28 to go. Uh, ruinous, nothing really crazy. Resilient, kin berserk, but unfortunate perks. Focus con, refreshing ward, healing tomb, medium. I guess, maybe, but mm, yeah, not really it. Strength, refreshing move, enchanted. There we go. Another really good hatchet. I wonder what this would be on a, on, on a 600, man. Those are two really nice perks for it. Um, once again, it's nothing too crazy, but we're gonna lock all the good ones just to not accidentally salvage them. And we still have half of the opening to go. So far, I got a few okay pieces. Nothing bis yet, though. Dexcon, Resilient, Iced, Refresh on Light. If this was, for example, um, Intelligence, it could be a nice piece, right? But it isn't. So, um, yeah, nothing too crazy here. Also, if you guys see any pieces that I miss that are actually solid, um, do let me know in the comments, and I will obviously look back on the video and check. I'm not going to salvage anything until I'm 100% sure. Uh, that I want to salvage it. I'm probably just gonna salvage all the greens and blues, but I'll keep the purples and Just store them somewhere where I'll forget about it. Um, Dex int Strength int critical retribution on critical taken gain 9% increased crit chance for seven mm. Yeah, that's an, well, one of the new perks, but I don't think it's that good um, Yeah, nothing crazy here What do we got Dex intelligent resilient empowering rupture unfortunate Dex, Vicious, and Evade. Okay. Strength, Vicious. No, no, and no. That's not really... Ah! Dex, Int, Medium. No. That's not it. Dex, Accuracy, Plagued Crits. I don't know if that's good. I don't know what accuracy... How good that actually is on a bow these days. Plagued Crits is probably nice on a bow, but you probably want more damage anyways. Con Intelligence, Resilient, Empowering, Meteor, Shower. But it's a light chest where that's unfortunate. If it was a medium chest piece, sure you could run it if you run Empowering, Meteor, Shower, but I don't think it's that good. Con Focus with Refreshing Ward and Energizing Splash of Light. On a medium, that's a good piece. We're gonna go ahead and lock it. Um, that is a solid piece if you go for a healer. I don't know how used Energizing Splash of Light is, uh, but it also gives stamina, so we'll, we'll keep it. Maybe we'll use it at some point in the future. I don't plan on ever healing, but you never know. Another Blunderbuss bump, not bad. Plague Treats with Crippling Blast Shot, sounds pretty interesting. Corn Intelligence Light with Penetrating Wrecking Ball, a bit unfortunate. Freedom Mending Execute and Con Intelligence Helmet as well, unfortunate there. Okay, I got the legendary great X. Please tell me, oh my god, please tell me this has like insane perks. If it's strength with three good perks, we are in the money. Come on, this could actually be so good. Strength, vicious, sturdy, mending execute. Oh man, it is an absolute disaster. This is so bad. Oh, well, a bit of disappointment there, but at least we know that it can drop legendaries. Literally anything else would be better here. Man, unfortunate. Uh, Dex focus on the medium legs and strength refreshing toward critical retribution. Um, okay. I mean, yes, I guess medium hatchet maybe? Nah, I don't know. I will keep all the pieces that have like two good perks on it though. Con strength refreshing fortifying shield rush. Has okay perks, I guess. Strength con, critical retribution, empowering whirling braid as well. Um, nothing really crazy. There we still got 15. Strength vicious and kin berserk. Increase crit chance by. Oh, that's a hatchet. Never mind. Uh, int con with crippling blast shot and refreshing ward. Um, on a heavy. Maybe if you're a tank blunderbuss. I don't know if that's possible, but I don't think. Um, I mean, tank blunderbuss could actually be meta at some point. You never know, right? Uh, refreshing Evasion with Venturing Claw Shot. When Claw Shot connect, that's also Blunderbuss perk. 
So nothing crazy there. Right now we're hoping for one more legendary, really. Uh, refreshing Ward, Empowering Meteor Shower, but Strength and Con, unfortunate. Strength Vicious, Fortifying World, we know. Refreshing Evasion, Healing Tomb, no. On a medium legs as well. Pretty bad. Focus Intelligence, Empowering Rupture, Critical Retribution. Um, on Click Blow, on a target you've afflicted with Essence Rupture, gain in power. Crit Retribution, I mean, sure, I guess. It's a medium head, though. I don't think you really run this. Yeah, I don't think it's that useful. 10 more. Dex Rogue Evade. Dex Refreshing Ward Healing Tomb. Focus Refreshing Evasion. Nope, that's pretty bad. Strength with Refresh. Nope, that's pretty bad. Intelligence, Dexterity, Freedom, and Healing Tomb. Pretty rough. Okay, got a couple of greens. Corn. Medium Chest. So it's, it's good for a medium or... No, it's good for a light build. Uh, Shirking Fortification and a perk for Blunderbuss. I mean, sure, I guess. That can be used. Uh, no, eight more to go. Okay, Vicious with Refreshing Move Ice Gauntlet. Those are not bad. Um, strength Focus, pretty bad. Seven more to go. Focus Strength with bad... Uh, focus Dex and Intelligence Focus with Vicious and Empowering Rupture, not very good. Intelligence with Ruinous and Plagued Crits, not very good. Um, Ice Refresh on a Heavy Chest Piece, not really that great. Uh, let's see, below 30% Stamina Gain, 38% Increased Stamina Regen. Perhaps it could maybe be used on a Heavy Mage with Void... No, 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 I'm, I'm pushing it, I'm pushing it. No way that's useful. Um, Dex Int, bad, Strength, Fortifying, Shield Rush, Refreshing on a medium, Head, not very good. We have four more pieces, Strength, Vicious, Refreshing, Move, Sword, uh, not bad. If that was a Legendary with the third perk, could be something crazy, but, um, yep, didn't really get it. We got two more to go, Strength, Shirking, Energy, and Putrefying, Scream, unfortunately, on the Scream. Um... I mean, Shirking Energy is really good, but it's medium leg, so you don't really use that. Okay, we have one more. And yeah, nothing crazy. And then the last one, I get the Legendary, right? Let's see. Oh, wow. I get a blue 600. Oh, that is just, that is just unfortunate. Shirking Fortification with Venturing Claw Shot on a light hit that can be used with Blunderbuss. Uh, refreshing Ward, Empowering Meteor Shower, bad. Strength Dex, Sturdy Flame Shield Ward, bad. Alright. As much as they said they buffed these, uh, one Legendary out of 50, just a few good pieces really. So, fairly disappointed I'd say. Um, with the opening, I was hoping for a lot more. Um, didn't get it though. If You, you gotta take in consideration, they took, this took me over two months to get. Um, and I really think the, the reward should simply be better. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think the rewards from war crates for for like invasion crates even or OPR crates? I think the reward should be better. Um, I've been opening. I've probably opened like f honestly like 400 500 OPR caches a bunch of um, War crates as well and it's just never really anything good <laughs> Like I'm not gonna lie. It's just you just don't get good stuff in it. Um, yeah, a little bit disappointed, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. It might motivate me to stack a bunch of caskets again in the future and perhaps make another video. As always, stay safe. I'll catch you another time. Have a good one and bye-bye. See ya.